what is going on guys my name is Clusum and today I'm going to bring you guys a brand new map that I just finished up for Mindplex it is called Uden oh god I've forgotten the name of it already I've forgotten the name of it I'll probably put it on screen if I remember to it's some Oro Japanese name for bow arrow whatever bow arrow means in Japanese I don't know but anyway this is a map for turf wars from the Mindplex server I spent about a good 10 15 um, between 15 and I, I don't know, 15 hours, we're just going to say, you know, maybe not that, probably about 10, you know, I have not a clue, but still, this is the map, it's very simple, because Turf Wars is very simple, I'm going to put my FOD down, because I've just been playing some Turf Wars, that's why it's really high like that, anyway, you can see it better like this, so as we can see around the sides, we have some dynamic terrain, if I put this back up as well, we can see it all, the terrain, I love the terrain in this, even like these little holes here, I think they just look amazing, and having some random patches of grass around the place, really does make it look nice and also the trees are love i mean these trees are amazing look at this look like uh, obviously the back of the plot's pretty messy but we don't need to see that because when you're playing you're going to be on the floor one thing i want to tell you guys is when you're doing terrain don't slash slash replace it because it looks awful and i know this isn't the best terrain or the best example but making lines in it and stuff like that is just a lot of a better it makes it look much more natural so and that plays into the sort of thing called purpose like when you're building think about the purpose so would really the terrain be randomized most likely not but still there are other things you can do this is just a very basic kind of tiny decent example of terrain like i say it's pretty dynamic we've got some bigger areas and it's quite steep in places and these holes oops these holes in the terrain make it look really cool as well so anyway, this is the Turf Wars map, you can't get out of it. I mean, I hate looking down here, I feel it looks horrible down here, but still, I mean, looking up at it from the ground, it's it's really, really cool. So anyway, this is going to be one spawn point in here. I mean, these pagoda things, they took me like four hours to make, because I've n before this, no, before that Oriental House tutorial I did, I'd never built Oriental before, and this is like full Oriental, and this is, you know, like fucking trying to throw me in the deep end right now. But I think it does look pretty darn nice. I mean, it looks pretty cool. The sides obviously don't really matter too much about detailing because when you're down here, you're going to be working on shooting everyone else. And when you do maps, okay, what you need to do is you need to make it popping. You need to make it good looking like as a brief. Like if you're going to stand here and look at this in detail, you're going to think, eh, it's not too really too good. But if you're playing turf wars, you know you're zooming around everywhere. It's going to look really really cool. So I'm not saying skimp on it or anything like that. That's not what I'm trying to say. I'm trying to say that. You know, not going full out detail, like loads of detail, it can look pretty cool. Because, I mean, this, like if you're playing PvP, this is going to look really, really cool. These little pagoda here. So we have like the same type of organic shape going along here. I don't know how to say it. It's like a mustache type of shape thing. The smaller one up here, and then we have two domes on top of that. I mean, they look quite nice. I really do like them. I could do a tutorial on something like this if you guys want. But still, we're going to just jump in here and take a look. So. This is where you'll spawn, one point spawn point here, one here, maybe one there. I do feel it should big, be bigger, so I'm posted on the Mindplex forums that so they should be bigger. I'm going to go show you guys the Mindplex forums actually. So I posted it on here, let me quickly refresh here to make sure we haven't got any new comments or nothing. That's the name, Yumi Noya, that is the name, Yumi Noya. Yumi, Yumi Noya, I don't know how to speak Japanese. But anyway, this is it here, and some really these are what they said about it. So I agree with this one. I, yeah, when you place down the wall and everything, because people place down their own obstacles, I don't really feel that's too much of a problem. And coloration, I kind of agree, but then again, I would have slash slash replaced it, which is what I think he's thinking of. And it kind of looks like the mountain takes up too much of this turf space. Let's move out the walls. Well, you see, the thing is with these turf spaces, I counted the exact box. So the distance from here to here is the size of some of the other maps on Mindplex already, so I don't feel that's too much of a problem either. But anyway guys, I'm quickly switch over into a shader pack, so it might be a little bit laggy, but I want to show you guys how this looks. Conquest of the Sun. Now this is the texture pack to use. This is my favourite texture pack. Oh boy, it looks amazing. And best thing is, I can just about build in this when I'm not recording. I mean, now it's not too bad, but I'm only going to put the shader on just so I can show you around it. Let me try and get it all loaded in again, and I can show you guys some pretty cool stuff with this. That makes it really really atmospheric and just oh, it's just amazing to look at when i put this on right now we've got all this loaded in what we're going to do is we're going to do weather and storm wait for that to load i mean that oh look at this doesn't that look amazing like the fog and everything 
I mean, if we could play PvP in this, like, and nobody, like, like everybody had this shader pack on, and I can turn that right down. I'll just turn it off. There we go. What is, oh, dude, doesn't this look amazing? I mean, look at that. Oh, damn, this looks really, really good. Let me get a torch in my hand. I'm gonna get a redstone one just in case we wanna make it look better. Which one's. There we go. I mean, this is gonna be pretty cool. So we're in here. I like how it gets lighter with the torch. The redstone. There we go. I mean, this looks pretty, pretty cool. So let's make it dark. So where the. Oh, I mean, slash time set dawn. Let's have a look at this. When it gets dark. Was it already dawn? I don't know. Time set for AM. Now this looks cool. So like you say again, when it like the redstone when you got your torch in your hand it just makes everything look a whole lot better. And the rain on the screen in this texture pack as well, that's really really cool. See how it just comes up in the background there? I mean that right there, that's just an amazing view. Look at that. That's really really cool. Let's go sun just see what it looks like just at normal night time and rain you can stop now there we go it still looks really really cool but when it's rainy it looks really really good so anyway guys thank you very much for watching the video if you did enjoy it remember to leave a like button down below subscribe if you do i'll see you guys in the next video